I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Hey y'all, so while Elsie and I were away from each other, we did some brainstorming. We have not had chicken fried steak in a while. We make a delicious one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do something that is a necessary thing with cube steak because cube steak is a little tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our cube steak and I'm gonna put it on wax paper. Sprinkle a little salt on top of it. This does help to tenderize it. And I'm gonna put a, another piece of wax paper over top of it and let's get started. So what we'll do is we have to make a wet dredge and a dry dredge and all of that when we get ready to fry this. So the, of course that will be our next step when we do that. I'm ready. And we're going to continue here and just do all of them. We have a total of 12. So you stay tuned and see our next step. We are back to do our dredge for our chicken fried steak. So this is the second part. The first part was actually tenderizing the meat. So I'm gonna move my bowls over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my dredge. So I have all-purpose flour in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in here. Now I have an air rack here and I put wax paper on top of it so it won't like have droppings everywhere. And I also have a bunch of seasonings in here that I'll list in the description box. I'm going to whisk this around. Now remember, we're going to be doing a gravy after this with some of the uh, drippings. So, and we put about a quarter inch of oil into our pan and we heat it to 350 degrees until it's uh it's ready it's spitting all right well let me get the moving then <laughs> okay so i have two eggs beaten here and we have we have milk put that in here put that over here yeah we don't want to leave our our uh stove get too hot because if your if your pan gets too hot it will burn the oil and then it will really not do well with your with your uh, steak so this is chicken fried steak so y'all remember me dredging this so i'm going to put the wet dredge on and then i'm going to put the dry dredge on you can do dry wet dry if you want to Start laying them there. Elsie's gonna go and, and get these into the the skillet here in just a second. So we're using our 15 inch uh, lodge skillet, the big huge cast iron, because we have a lot of um, chicken fried steaks to make. Normally, I would do dry, wet, dry, but because of the skillet being hot, I don't want it to burn. So we're gonna do this pretty fast. There we go. How many do you think we can fit in there, Elsie? Um, give me two more and then I'll go try Okay. It. And then she's gonna go ahead and start it, the camera in there and then you guys will see it on the stove top. All right, one more. I can't wait to have this. I was craving this like a couple weeks ago and I sent Elsie a message and I said, we need to do chicken fried steak. We haven't done it in a while. 
And that was one of those things mama used to make when we were kids. Oh my gosh, that was some good eating. We were eating, living large and eating well when, when mama made chicken fried steak. We thought we were something. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish this off screen and we'll get these onto our skillet, get it fried up. And we'll show you the next step when it's ready to be done. Hey y'all, I just put my um, cube steaks into the frying pan to make our chicken fried steak. I am going to cook them four to five minutes per side until they're golden brown and done. Um, and we will show you the next step, which will be making the gravy. Hey y'all, I am going to flip them and cook them for another four to five minutes on the other side. All right, y'all. We'll show you what they look like when we take them out of the pan. All right, y'all. They are done. I'm putting them in a pan. And then we're going to make our gravy. guys so Elsie's gonna go ahead and cut this and she's gonna cut her steak and she's gonna give us our taste test so here we go oh it's tender Ooh, look at that yeah all right Elsie give us the taste test mmm is it really good up club we haven't made this in a while, I told you. It's it's been a while. So mm. that's really good. Awesome. Gonna be a good dinner. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.